Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So with the regular season coming to an end, it's time to talk about what's next for the Houston Rockets. So after hiring Emil Duco and making head-scratching investments in free agency last year, such as signing Fran Van Vliet to that huge contract, and as well as Dylan Brooks, Houston showed much improvement from last season. They went from winning 22 games and being second to last in the West to winning 40 games and making a realistic push for the play-in. Like, they really could have made it, but they finished just outside of being able to make it to the play-in by, like, probably like five games. But they had a realistic push after the All-Star break. They went on, like, an 11-game win streak, and a lot of that came because of Jalen Green. Jalen Green's emergence... After finding out he had a baby on the way by Dre Michelle and he had a few other babies on the way, Jalen Green was playing crazy. I mean, bro, he really emerged into that star that the Houston Rockets drafted him to be. I thought that Jalen Green always had star potential. Jalen Green, it was really that good. So it's good to see him finally playing to his potential. And, you know, if he keeps it up, Jalen Green next year could very much be a top guard in the league, just plain and simple, you know? So just seeing Jalen Green just come along and stop fooling around with all the inconsistencies and just shooting bullshit and painting his nails on that goofy shit, seeing him go out there and just play consistently and just play like a dog, that's something for Houston to be excited about moving forward, man. So kudos to Jalen Green. I'm proud of you, man. Just keep it up, man, you know. Houston, they need you to play like that, man. They really do. So, yeah, Jalen Green, he played a huge impact in that 11-game streak and that push for a play-in spot, even though they fell short of achieving that play-in spot. Aside all the play-in uh, potential, they have players to be excited about outside of Jalen Green. Sengun. Sengun was the top dog for the team this year. Sengun was the most consistent thing they had on the team this year. He went down with a season-ended injury, but Sengun is established as the center for the team. A lot of people view him as like a baby Jokic because he has playmaking ability. He can score the rock. He can shoot. He just is not as good of a rebounder as Jokic, but hopefully that gets better. But Sengun definitely is a key part, key part of this team moving forward. And then you got Jabari Smith. He's even playing better. I'm not saying that he's going to be a star in this league. He probably could, but right now I think his development is playing really well, and I think he's playing a good role for the Houston Rockets right now. He's shooting the ball good. He can get some boards. Um not familiar with how his defense is, but I know he's doing those things pretty well. Then they got Cam Whitmore, who they eased into rotation. Cam Whitmore has done a good with his opportunities, and he's showing that I should not have fallen this low on a draft board. Cam Whitmore was potentially a top five, top pick 10 pick in last year's draft. He just didn't get picked that high because there's a lot of character issues and things like that people were concerned about, man. But the skill was always there. And Cam Whitmore can very much be a steal moving forward, depending on how well he continues to develop. Then you got Amin Thompson. Amin Thompson's potential is through the roof. He can score. He can facilitate. I'm not saying he can score on Steph Curry in them level, but he's good at finishing at the rim. And he can definitely facilitate the ball, and he can manage the ball. So, And he's 6'7", so he really could play three to four positions, but you know they play what they want him to play. But I think that... He is the future point guard for this team. Fran Van Vliet is doing a good job running the point guard for this team as expected. But come on, Fran Van Vliet, he's older. He's a vet. He is making a lot of money. So eventually, Amin Thompson is going to take Van Vliet's spot and they go trade Van Vliet. That's just how the game goes. Y'all know how it goes. So I think Amin Thompson's developing well and he's giving them a lot of promise to, you know, continue to develop him to be the point guard of the future. And I think it will work out well because he's not a player that needs to necessarily score. I think he'll do a good job playing alongside Jalen Green and Sango. I, I can definitely see it, you know. So, you know, they also got some other key guys. They got Jay Sean Tate, but Jay Sean Tate's a free agent. They also got Jeff Green as a notable free agent. But other than that, the other dudes that's free agents don't even matter. So the good thing about this team, this team is a team that's still staying intact, you know. This is a team that's going to stay intact and they can continue to add pieces through free agency. And they're going to also have at least a lottery pick just because they didn't make the playoffs. So depending on how they pick in a draft and depending on who they bring in, Houston knows that going into next season, 
Jalen Green is my star, and so is Sengun. They're they're both are, they're both the stars of the team, and this is who we're building around. Plain and simple. So it gives Houston a better sense of direction, a better um, and a better sense of how they want to build the team. And I want to say kudos to Emir Duka because he's really came in and really changed how things are out there in Houston. Like, come on, he came in, he got rid of Joshua Christopher. Um, they went ahead and gave away Kevin Porter Jr. considering his allegations. And, um, you know, he brought in some vets like Van Vliet and D. Brook, I mean, Dylan Brooks to help out. Like, come on, man. They are really doing a good job just trying to become a better team. This dude, It was due time because Houston, they had had top picks year after year after year, and they were still going out there just getting spanked, man. So, yeah, overall, um, just to conclude the video, I really, truly feel like Houston has a lot to look forward to next year. Um, I don't know what the draft's looking like. I don't know, you know, what free agents will come to Houston, but they have a lot to look forward to going into next season and a lot to build on, a lot of success, even though this technically was a failed season, man. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. How far do you see Houston going next year? What do you think Houston needs to improve more as a team? Just let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I got more content coming soon.